about the so, so we can discuss about the the performance SAP the performance related transaction codes here performance related T codes transaction codes here that is called the so ST01 so then ST02 ST03 then ST so we have the transaction codes here right ST01 is for the tracing system trace this is for the system trace here suppose suppose whenever any user suppose if you see the users suppose sometimes what happens users will face the some issues here so in that case they may ask us to enable the trace authorization trace or kernel trace or db trace rfc calls http trace so some other destinations they will ask us to open it here the test they will ask us to open it here so then just click on the trace button here right then that will collect the logs then user can do the user can reproduce the issue user can do, reproduce the issue from their end user will do the reproduce the issue right user the user will reproduce the issue the logs will is collecting normally if any issues normally we will go and check in the work directory all st22 or sm21 some other transaction codes we will check it out but logs are not generating much so then in this case you need to track it which one is much useful and everything so then in this case we need to collect the more logs here then you need to enable the tracing here so here while doing the tracing here so then you can ask them to reproduce the issue the trace which you have enabled to find then turn off the trace then go for the analysis of the trace then all the log files will be displayed here so currently there is no log files so but in the real cases really if there is a issue then the trace the log files will be displayed here the logs will be displayed here so this way we can find out the issues here the logs means suppose example some error logs here the parameter something two records are found you click on this button you will get the some functions new duration some log files so these log files are very important for the so the developers so our sap to investigate further here so displaying the trace the trace logs here providing the trace logs here so we need to activate the trace then collect the logs and analysis trace files here log files collecting here so as and when required just we have to enable the trace trace in st01 so we have to activate it here then after that deactivate it then just we can do the analysis of the issue what is the issue and everything we can do the analysis of the issue the analysis of the issue will be so sort of tracked here what is the exact error and everything you can see the error log messages here so that is the st01 system trace so the next one is called the st02 st02 here that is called the tune summary st02 is the tune summary here here we can check the we can check the buffers swaps hit ratio hit ratio so so hit ratio free space so free space how much free space we have etc we can check in the st02 here st02 transaction code here hit ratio right hit ratio you can see the so these all are the buffers here so first of all what is buffer so buffer is a temporary storage area buffers are the temporary storage area in sap which will store the frequently accessed data in sap so suppose if any data the customers users are using that frequently accessed data will be used by the in the buffers it will be in the recorded in the buffers here always we have the list of buffers are available here so they are the table buffers name tab buffers field buffer program buffer all the programs will be stored into this buffer ci buffer strain buffer calendar buffer otr buffer table buffers so these all are the buffers here each buffer there is a hit ratio for the buffers here so what is the hit ratio and everything here so here let me draw one diagram here you can understand clearly so this is a sap gui right here it is a sap 
SAP GUI and here SAP your presentation layer this is the database here so in the SAP we have the so there is the buffers concept here buffers are called the small so storage areas here buffers concept here in SAP so in the application server level we have the buffers concept so foregrounds all the foregrounds are equal all the tables are here all the fields are here so all the each buffer there the list of buffers are available here list of buffers are available here in the list of buffers you can see the all the users here someone took my session that's why i won't give share the passwords administrator password to everybody so here so here you can see it here so the buffers the buffers are the temporary storage areas here so this will be available in the sap level these all are the buffers here buffers right sap buffers here so whenever whenever user wants to access the some data from from sap level so first of all it will check the data in the buffers if the buff data is there in the buffers it will take the, the data then it will give the response back to the user within fraction of milliseconds if the data is not exist what will happen if the data is not exist it will go it will it will it will go to the buffers then in the buffers to the it will go to the buffers it's not exist then it will go to the database level in the database level it will search the data whatever the data you requested you queried from the here then it will grab the data then one copy of data it will put it here then it will give the response back to the users so which means if the data is there all the frequently accessed data will be available in the buffers so that is not the frequently accessed data that is the different data so that time what will happen so so that will it will go to the here means request is coming to the here from here to here there is a time time lagging right time lagging here from here to here from here to here there is a time period so it will it will take some time to give the response here suppose example let me show you here so here okay so normally so normally st22 sm21 these all are the we are accessing so it's a faster response see so within fraction of milliseconds so it's a 969 milliseconds we got the response right we are getting the very speed response for the basis transaction codes here why because we are accessing these transaction codes it's a very 219 milliseconds it's a very faster response we are getting suppose if i access one of the so pa30 transaction code suppose example you see see so it is also it is very fast why because yesterday i have accessed this transaction code so we got the response here same as like if i access the pa10 transaction code you see this is also very fast so very fast why because the frequently you are accessing the data that will be stored into the sap buffers here so the request will come from the presentation layer it will check in the buffers it will check it out then it will give the response back to the users here it will give the response back to the user so when it will be slow means so there is a so when it will be slow it means when it is searching here in the buffers there is no data then it will go to the database level it will pull it here then it will give the response back to the here means the request is coming to the here it's going to the database level it is searching here there is a wait period then it is going back to the user means it's a time taking procedure here so like that suppose if i take one more transaction code anything suppose like hr related not the hr if i go to the stc01 this is also very speed only which transaction code i can take it out rsa1 is also very speed here it is it is loading it is loading the data it is also very slow very speed right it is also speed so some hrs related transaction codes are there functional related transaction code sales yes yes we got it suppose vl02 sales related transaction code here so see here how much time it will take here it is keep on loading loading see here how much time it is loading which means what is it doing now 
so it searched here sap level buffers it is searched so there is no data here then it went to the database level definitely database level tables we have the data then it is searched it here then it giving the response here how much time here you can see so it's 11,000 milliseconds, 11,000 milliseconds, the response time to get the VL02 transactions here. So now again, I will, I will execute it, see how much time it will take. Again, why? Because first time it grabbed the data from the table and it will pay, it will pull it here. I'm executing second time also, I'm executing the same transaction code here. See here how much time it got immediately. So, which means in the 563 milliseconds here, means 11,000 to the 563 milliseconds, you grabbed the data from the data system. Why? Because your data, your request, it did not went to the database level. If it is went to the database level, there is a delay. It will store into the buffers only here. It is stored into the buffers. So, so the basically, the buffers are like a, temporary storage areas the buffers are like a the temporary storage areas here the buffers are like a temporary storage area here Sorry. so the buffers are is like a temporary storage area it will store the the frequently accessed data from sap so what are the data we are frequently accessing? So that data, it will be stored into the here. The data, it will be stored into the buffers level, buffers level here, right? So that is the so buffers here. Here in ST02, we can see the, the status of the buffers here, right? What is the hit ratio of the buffer? How much KB it is allocated space? What is the free? This is very less. What is the P percentage here? So what is the buffers, swaps, DB access? So all the information we can see it here. So buffers. So here foreground buffer, fine. So, but you can see normally hit ratio is more than 95 plus. Hit ratio always should be more than 95 plus one, which means out of 100 request, 95 request will grab the data from the buffers remaining five should be go to the database table level so which means 95 plus it ratio so 95 percentage it ratio but here all are 98 99 100 sometimes everything is okay right except one or two so those things we can ignore it here but here you can see there is a swaps column in the swaps column you can see the so there is a hit swaps there is a 6000 swaps here what does it mean what is the buffer here? CUA buffer, which means the CA buffer. So when there is some swaps occurred, when the swaps occurs, when the buffers are running out of the free space, when the buffers are running out of the free space, then you will get the swaps here. You will get the swaps here. Here we can say what is the what is there inside of the buffer then how many swaps are occurring since last two days here today how many swaps yesterday how many swaps so like that you can see the the swaps history we can see it here daily it is getting increased daily it is getting increased here right so sometimes it went to the so 15000 also here per day per day 10000 swaps are okay more than that we need to investigate it why the swaps are occurring more why the swaps are occurring more here so is there any buffer issue is there any unwanted object something we need to clean up here otherwise we need to increase the space we need to increase the space of the this buffers here right this is the buffers and they are the memory areas here here we have the heap and extended and page area we have the memory areas here this memory these all are the sap memory areas this memory areas of the current percentage of utilization, how much in memory disk, all the information will be displayed. The mainly here, the swaps. So as part of the daily monitoring, hit ratio should be more than 95% and the swaps should not be more than 10,000 here per day. If the more than 10,000, definitely there is a issue. We need to calculate that issue.
what is that here right and memory areas we can see it in the st02 so suppose if you want to increase the current parameters then we can go to the here then check the so means suppose if you want to increase the ca buffer ca buffer is the 2000 configured if you want to increase the buffer now because here you can see ca buffer configured the 3000 the buffer size is the so allocated kb directory size you can see it here very less here you want to increase the buffer you can go to the current parameters list and what is the value configured then you can increase the value then we will the swaps will be reduced whenever there is a uh, less space in the buffer then the overflow happens means once the, your bucket is full full with water then what happens the remaining water will be overflow right so same way your buffers are full the data will be overflow that time the swaps will come the swaps when the swaps will come means your buffers are full or buffers are running out of the free space in other words then we may get the swaps where can we check the swaps and it ratio buffer space and everything means st02 transaction code in case of if you want to increase the swaps so if we want to increase the buffer buffer limitations then we can increase the 2 gb to 4 gb 2 mb to 4 mb like that we can increase it these are the parameters if you change it the value also will be increased here that is the swaps like this we can handle it here okay any questions anyone Any questions, anyone? Is it clear? Sir, uh, for our swaps, so we need to increase the parameter size, right, sir, to, to reduce the swap. Uh, after yeah. that, we need to restart the system, sir. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Parameter you are changing means definitely the restart is required here. If it is so, a dynamic uh, parameter, fine. If it is a static parameter, definitely restart is required. Okay, thank you. Okay.